part of the value of utilizing an IDE is for IntelliSense or code hinting. So for example, you'll notice that we have a var here for text, right? So the IDE can't really tell us too much about text. It can guess that it's a string, but not too much. But if we actually were to make our own string, say my name, the IDE will constantly run the compiler background without even saving. As I type, as I change the file, as I save the file, whatever else, it'll look and constantly recompile. So you'll notice that you saw errors that went away as I continue typing, right? It's really aggressive and very fast about that kind of stuff. As soon as I hit the dot, I will get a list automatically. I didn't have to press anything. I just hit the dot. And it provides a list of code hints for the string class, right? This is its guess. It's a little better guess because I actually explicitly typed. Remember, Dart is dynamic by default, functional by default. The strong typing is really optional. The onus is on you, the developer, to actually add those to help for API understanding, better understanding of how the code works, and basically to help Chrome help you code, as well as help the compiler make more efficient JavaScript, right? So in our case, string, we get a lot better. We get a lot better methods for all the string methods in here. We can choose one and hit enter, and then it'll automatically code hint the parameters with their types and what they're supposed to mean. This, so this documentation could be more broad. It just depends on how it, if you forgot after typing, say it's a, it's a pattern from string to two. If you forgot the method, you just merely hover your cursor over and it'll show you the documentation for that particular method. Okay. So that way you can do that if you forget what it was. So I'm going to do R zero for string patterns, string two. I forget the format for that. Notice as I'm typing, it's already showing errors below. So we're just going to do a quote, quote. Notice again, now it's expecting me to do a semicolon. I'm good to go.